Hello, my name is Ian Person, and with my partner, Makita Thrash, we will do a tour of the Franklin County High School. And this is the front of the building, and I hope you enjoy the tour. Let's go. Alright, so right now we are just walk walking in the parking lot in front of the school. This is where most of the teachers park, and teachers who, uh, not teachers, parents who come to pick up their kids. And if you look at this pole, this is where we keep the flag. Can you see? <laughs> it's a little bright out here, so you may or may not be able to see stuff. <laughs> All right. Time for the echo. Echo. All right, see, guys. there's an echo. We're going to head into the school right here. All right. Right now, we're going to head into the school, into the front office. Right. You're in the front office at this moment, and this is where we go to uh, uh, turn in papers and do most of the official stuff. And we do it here, and right now, uh, most of the problems we have, and we're turning in papers, we go to Miss Cabe right there. <laughs> Alright, now we are going into the main part of the school. It's always so, Freshman Academy is one And this is called Freshman Academy because this is where most of the freshmen have their classes, with the exception of any CTAE classes that we have in outside buildings. So, all these teachers' names you see, like Single, Coach Waldrop, um, Stewart, and Coach Laster, they all teach freshmen uh, topics like. This is social studies, that is English, language arts, so uh, I don't know what Stuart teaches. <laughs> and then Coach Laster, there's like no one in his classroom. But we will continue. Alright, now if we continue on down this way. <laughs> you can see all this artwork. And the reason why all this artwork is here is because this is also the hall that houses the art room, which is down there. Right. The art is right there, where it's at Robinson. And to the left is where we have all our, all our special needs classrooms. It starts from right there, where it says Treadwell, all the way down to the coffee shop logo, which we do have a coffee shop at our high school. Yeah, and that is uh, Mr. Rob's class, and that is art. Now, we are going to go up the stairs to the second floor. What way is this? Oh, this is not a hallway. Do you want to do it? Because I already recorded. All right, so we are now in the main section of the main building. That is the second floor. This hallway is really not special. It just houses chorus and uh, work baseline. Usually these are a bunch of em empty classrooms. They really don't have that much in use. But if you see where it says ISS and Curvo, that is where we have in-school suspension. And that is where Coach Curvo, uh, and that's Coach Curvo's classroom. And as you can see, there is a piano in the choir room. All right, and we keep on walking. What, do you just hate my narration? No. All right then. Keep on walking, keep on walking, keep on walking. All right. To the right, we have the main door, also called the bridge. And those are people on our class, so you can ignore them. But as I was saying, as I was saying, this is the bridge, and the reason why we call it the bridge is because there's a bridge leading from Girl, the school the video. all the way to the actual parking lot. Now, if we go this way, now we are second floor, right above the commentary. And if you can see to my left, we have a bunch of vending machines with all different assortment of food and drinks, and then. It's also where we keep 
mode, not moat, but some of the trophies that we've earned throughout her county. Now, if you turn to my right, that is our library where we have a bunch of computers and books. So let's go take a look at that. Which I don't know why we have computers there. We have Chromebooks, so it's kind of pointless. But hey, that's just my opinion. All right, so I don't want to interrupt anyone in there, and I don't think we can get in there, but this is our look, luxurious library. And usually Miss Hood is in there selling candy, but she's not today. I have no clue where she's at. All right, now we're going down this hallway over here. Oh, and then this is new, it's a painted on, American black, which could be better. <laughs> I'm cutting that out, by the way. You better. <laughs> now we have the foreign language and culinary arts class. This is where we have, obviously, culinary arts and our foreign language classes. The foreign language classes that we offer here at Heard County is Spanish. That's it. It's usually Spanish one and two, and some people go on doing Spanish three and four. I'm not one of those people. Either is the person holding the camera in this video. But coming up on my left, we have Tillman's classroom. And he is a culinary arts teacher. So he's basically the, the school's chef, but he doesn't cook for us. And right now, this is his planning period, so he will not have a class. If we continue on, do, 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 do. all right. Now down this this part of the section of the hallway, we have our foreign language classes, and each of these flags are different places that can that has a majority of the population speaking Spanish. So, first on my right, we will have Senora Mercedes' class. And she, uh, that's where we have Spanish 1 and 2. And most people who go on Spanish 3 and 4 also take her as their teacher. And then coming up on my right again, we have Miss Jackson. She is a new teacher here. Uh, and she also teaches Spanish. But also to our left is our foreign language lab, which is where we go to speak Spanish and, Spanish and headsets and have a and be recorded. Right. And this lab right here, the FCCLA lab, the lab where Jeff Tillman goes to teach uh, his students. This is basically his classroom where he doesn't have a kitchen. And I did not know he had a class, but he does. Okay. Now let's do You can stop it. All right, now we are down on the math hall. And these are some of the teachers. We have Miss O'Reilly, Miss Horn. We have two Miss Horns. That's which Miss Horn again? Jesse. Jesse Horn. This is Jesse Horn. And this is the student council room, which is now part of the map. Is is one of the extra rooms they use. And that's where student council goes for the meetings on Wednesdays. Then we have Ms. Oates. Ms. Oates is a mostly a freshman teacher. Wait. Yeah. And then we have Ms. Adams, Ms. Campbell, and then at the very end of the hall we have uh, Ms. Bucker Smith. And I'm pretty sure they're new. Or at least I've never had them, so they're new to me. So, Ms. Bell. Okay. And down here is where we have some extra rooms. And one is used for a computer lab. And then there's one right there, one that says model. 
he is one of our three administrators. So if we ever get in trouble, we will most likely be sent to him for one of two other people. Right, now we're going to the language arts class history wing, which is all the way down here. slash social studies wing. Alright, so this section from here to that end, hall at the very end, is the language arts portion of this one. The four language arts teachers that we have up here are Coach Napier, Ms. Ms. Nicole, and Ms. Amanda, which is the other one. And then we have a data room where they just keep the information. And if you look right there, the door's open. I'm not hit anything. Alright. Now we're about to enter the social studies portion of this. Pause it. Alright, currently we are in the parking lot, well, not the parking lot, we're in the breezeway. We're heading to our CTA e-builders. If you look to my left, you can see that is where we have our gym. Now the top level is our gym, uh, below that we have our weight room, which is where all the, if you're an athlete, you, it is mandatory for you to take at least one, in one semester that you do that athlete, that you are in that weight room. And where those big nets are, and that girl waving at me, that is where we have our baseball field. And we have two different fields for baseball and softball. Baseball field's right there, the softball field is over there. We're not going to be able to see that. So, this, and if you look at that big tower over there, that is called the band tower. That is a new thing that has just been installed for the marching parade, which is uh, something that I, me and my partner are a part of. And it is very fun being in the band room. And hopefully we can actually get into the band room to show you what it's like. I need to cut it. Alright, right now we are going to see some CTA E buildings. To our right, this is the agriculture facility, which is where we have our ag class. You can be in the video, it's fine. No. Okay, but keep on walking. Alright, to my left, on this small little door, this is where you have most of our healthcare stuff. As you can see, there's intro to healthcare, essentials of healthcare, sports medicine, all with Miss Mary Beth. And out of the CKFE buildings, agriculture has the biggest building. I have no clue why, but they And if we continue to my left again, we have construction. This is where kids go to mess with some wood and build some stuff. And construction is headed by Mr. Long. And there's one more build, one more room, and that is automotive. And automotive is two hours. This is where they work on cars and and just learn the basics of automotive. All right, currently we are heading to the band room, and if you look to my left, that is our football field, and we call that Staples Stadium. Interesting fact: last year. Wait. In, yeah, last year in 2018, the Heard County football team became the state champs. That's why we have a bunch of state champs. All right, that was the tour of our uh, the Heard County High School. So thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to this video, and also thank my partner who's been filming. So give me the camera. Her name is Makita, and that's it. Bye.